Hi, it's Valerie, ValerieHolden.com. This is the Oracle card reading for the week of May 6th, 2024. And the deck that I'm using this week is called Oracle of the Seven Energies. And the energies that this is referring to are the energy centers that we have in our body that are also referred to as chakras. And there are lots of these chakras, but there's seven main ones that people refer to. One of them starts at the base of our torso, which is called the root chakra or the root energy center. There's one just below your belly button, which is the sacral chakra. There's one just below where our ribs meet, which is our solar plexus. There's our heart, our throat, our forehead, which is called the third eye, and then the top of our head, which is called the crown chakra. And these chakras or energy centers govern the emotions that come from each particular area. It also governs the body parts in that particular area. So for example, the heart chakra, since it's in our chest, governs our heart and our lungs. So the card that we have for this week is called Wish Upon a Star. This particular deck only has one meaning for the card. So this card, Wish Upon the Star, has to do with our forehead, our third eye energy center, which is referred to as light in this book. And it has to do with intuition, vision, imagination, presence, knowing, perception, and mental states. So the actual meaning for this card, oops, lost my place. Hang on one second. Okay. So the key concepts for this, intentions based on your desires and aspirations, the act of consciously committing to a vision, sacrificing something of value, gambling on yourself, trusting that dreams can become reality, and the importance of daydreams. Here we go. Do you believe your dreams can become real or do you shrug them off and chide yourself for being unrealistic? What if you could trust that the world around you holds promise that you've not yet realized? Perhaps the point all along is not how something can happen, but the power of wishing and intending. We humans have multiple ways to ritualize owning a dream that we want to see manifest in physical form. Think of a wishing well. You infuse a coin with your intention, tuning into the feeling of having a particular experience. Tossing the coin into the well symbolizes the act of letting the how go. Walking away and allowing the universe to do its part in co-creating in your partnership. Another method is to wish upon a star. In doing so, you also look back to our origins, for we are made of stardust. Today, allow yourself to dream and play with different realities. Even if it seems impossible, if it calls you and feels good, why not choose it? Wish upon a star, then live as if your wish were already true. Know that those beautiful dreams you've been nurturing are in the process of becoming real. Don't forget that the act of wishing, dreaming, and intending is more important than figuring out the how. It shows the universe you're serious about playing the game of life and you trust the essence of the partnership. Remember, every dream you believe in and hope for is a call to a twinkling star. The answer will come, sometimes swiftly, sometimes slowly. No wish is ever wasted. That's very nice. Get your intention, start living it, believing that it's going to happen. What is it that you want in life? Put that wish out there, put that dream out there and allow the universe to help you with that. You're in partnership with the universe, so you're going to be co-creating that dream along with that. Remember, all these dreams and wishes that you have, the idea of that originally came from the divine, from God, from spirit. So let 
God, let spirit, let the universe help you make that dream come true. And don't have little teeny wishes. Dream big. What is it that you really want in life? Think of the biggest dreams that you ever could have and put that out there in the universe and let spirit help you create that. I'd love to know what dreams you're creating. Take care. Have a good week. See you next time. Bye. Mm -hmm.